Okay, before we uh, get into a demonstration of um, service maps ordering, a quick look at the equipment that we need. Um, I put my solder paste into a 1mm syringe, um, transferring it from the 10mm syringes that normally supplied. It gives a bit more control. Screwdrivers just for holding components in place and uh, tweezers obviously for um, uh, moving the components around. And I prefer these sort of slight smaller ones to the larger ones that you can also get. And you also need, of course, a uh, soldering iron, preferably um, temperature controlled. Uh, this is um, Antex TC50, driven by my own controller. Let's see my website for details. And lastly, and very importantly, is a decent light, um, about 100 watts um, incandescent e equivalent, and uh, th these are some LED ones. Okay, uh, we'll now get set up and uh, do some soldering. Okay, let's get going with this uh, board and uh, I'll solder a few standard components. So, um, um, so the, uh, a word on board design. Um, I try and design my board so all the components are going the same direction. And that means that one doesn't have to rotate the board um, while soldering components. And it, in broad terms, my philosophy on... on um, Sorting up a board like this is to. Uh, um, I need a bit more solder on this. Is to um, solder just one side of each component in order to get the components placed on the board, and then I run round and do the, the, the other ends of all the components. Um, so. I hope my hand's not getting in the way of the video. When I first started doing service mount sorting, I have to say there was a more than little trepidation. Um, but now I've been doing it for a for a while. Frankly, I would prefer doing service mount work to uh, conventional leaded. Um, has the benefit that one doesn't have to drill any holes <coughs> and uh, placing components is easier as well. And on this board I've managed to I have to rotate the board because I was a bit tight for space and uh, this little regulator has to go around a different direction. Okay, and lastly I'll pop the IC on. I normally um, make sure that I've got a capacitor soldered across the positive and negative. Um, I don't know how much extra safety you get from that, but uh, um, it may help a little bit with electrostatic protection. Okay, uh, that's the right way around. And this is an SN package, so lead spacings um, just over a millimetre. Uh, so the, the, these are relatively straightforward, and I just run a, a bead of uh, solder along the line of the uh, of the pins, and then uh, just touch them one at a time, and then I go around and sort of go in between. I should have said earlier that, um, th that this iron has got a a half millimeter um, tip on it, which is ideal for this service mount work. Right, that's nice and tidy. So now all the components are in place, <coughs> and we can just uh, quite quickly nip round and uh, put the uh, paste on the other leads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do those and, and, and the resistor up there. <clears throat> I'm going to do all the ones in one direction first and then we'll come around and do the the, uh, the regulator and the chip. This little board is, is driving um, three servos and a solenoid and 
and uh, connects to, a, to a, a sound chip and it's all driven by this microcontroller and the the microcontroller I um, I I pre-programmed in a ZIF socket so uh, but if um, if I ever need to reprogram it I've got pads on the on the board that I can um, uh, attach a programming lead if need be okay a bit of extra on that right so uh, go to the regulator Can I keep go around that? The, the, the sort of paste has, has got quite a lot of flux in it, so it tends to tends to flow quite well. <clears throat> I, I use the same technique with other chips that have got much finer pin spacing. Um, but all I say is, it, it's very important to use the absolute minimum amount of solder uh, with the ones that have got closer pin spacing because um, the chances of, of, of getting a bridge are quite high. So um, this is another board on, this, on the same, same project. Um, this has this just got a, a regulator chip on it. Um, this should show what some of the one of the larger um, components. I'll just get these capacitors on first. Tantrum capacitors are pretty straightforward because they've got um, bits that come up at the, at, at, at the end so one can easily get a bead of solder. Down there to sort that out. That's done. Zip it around to do the other, other ends and then we'll do the regulator. Right, that looks okay. These bigger leads are obviously a bit more, more of a struggle, but that's all just blowing fine. Okay, um, and the last thing this needs is um, soldering the the, the, the tab onto the board and a one millimeter iron just won't do that but I'll still use a surface mount um, paste I'll put a bead along the end there and then uh, put a larger iron on it uh, but I'll tell you what, just to so you can see that it doesn't really work or it's a bit tricky we'll pop that on there try and get the iron in and you see it's it's melting the solder but it, 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 it the, 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 it's just not um, it's not getting hot enough to flow so that's a waste of time okay i hope that shows you how easy it is to do um, surface mount soldering of the standard components